Oh yeah. That's, that's catchy. I think it's good and it's perfect for this weekend and sure what we're is. about to tell you about because we're celebrating into Pier this morning. Yeah, we've got Pauline live at our Voyager Park with a preview of this year's festivities. Good morning, Pauline. Look to your right, guys. Check out my new ride. Go ahead. <laughs> Larry here from oh. Pier Auto is taking me for a spin. Beautiful. Isn't this cool? Oh my gosh. This is a Chevrolet Bel Air. Larry, you say you are just the second owner of this car. In theory, I would be the second owner because it's a one family owned car. Uh -huh. Wow. So, and it's an original car. It's not been painted. It's not been restored. It's just the way it was in 57. Come so. in, guys. Come in here and take a look at this. This is all original right here, right, Larry? Yes, including myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a joker, too. <laughs> so, now tell me, how did you get this car? Okay. Uh, years ago, a guy came in and told me he was going to sell his daddy's car. Mm -hmm. and he drove in to buy parts from me for Virginia, and he showed me a picture of it, and I told him when he wanted to sell it, I would buy it. Ah. Six years later, he called me, right. and I bought it. All right. so. so, guys, this is, uh, the car show is a part of Celebrate De Pere, and De Pere Auto Center uh, sponsors the, uh, the car show. Larry, let's take a look at the, underneath the hood here. The engine, lots of people love the engine. So pop the engine for us. You say the engine kind of defines the car. Yes. The bigger the motor, the more they're worth. <laughs> and okay, this, this is the yeah. first year of the 283, mm -hmm. which possibly it's the first time in history that they, the cubic inch equaled the horsepower. Wow. But it would have to have fuel injection to do that. But and this they, is all original too. This is all original too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just a nice original car that's very, very well appointed. So if you guys come out on Sunday for the car show, Larry, how many cars will be out here? Well, last year I think they had 130, and the way car shows go, I would say they're probably looking to 150, maybe 170, because okay. car shows start out slow, mm -hmm. and they just get progressively out of hand. So out of hand. <laughs> they'll, reach, they'll reach a point where they won't be able to let them all come in. Ah. That's just the way car shows work, but people it takes just, a long time. People just love old classic cars. Well, look at your cars today. Yeah. Can you tell one from the other? Not necessarily. You know, and it's hard to get. It would be hard for me to get excited over a new car. Mm. But but this. This every year was different. Uh, they hit them when they had opening day at the showroom. You know, you brought your family in, and everybody looked at them, and they sat in them, and then you bought the one your neighbor didn't have. Mm -hmm. So then he had to have one. <laughs> so, but now there's the competition. You, they're just transportation. Okay. They're not. These are more like works of art. Most definitely. Again, and that's my opinion. That's his but, opinion. Thank you so much for sharing and taking me for a ride. If you guys want to take a ride down memory lane, take a look at some of these beautiful cars. Car show is tomorrow at Celebrate De Pier. All right. Thanks, Pauline. You're loving what you're seeing. Oh, yeah. I love classic cars and the weather's going to be great for it. So they'll be shining out there. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Awesome.